Hi, today let's talk about setting up a currency in the multi-currency management module. You notice I'm starting from a web page today from the International Organization of Standards or www.iso.org. Now, you want to use this particular site to determine what your co currency code should be. You could use this site, or I tend to go to some other site where I get my currencies. Here is the Yahoo Finance site for the currency exchange, and you can see the US dollars is USD, and the Euro is EUR. So we know those are some of the codes that we can use as we set up. So let's switch to Great Plains, and in the administration view, under Setup, System, I'll choose Currency. Now there's some codes that come with the system out there already and these are just for training purposes so don't use these codes because that's not the actual code that should be used. That's just for training purposes. They just kind of created a funky little code that you can use to learn on. So let's create a US dollar code. So I'll type in USD for US dollars and I'll give it a description. United States dollars. And the ISO code is USD and then it'll ask me what currency symbol to use and there are a few already out there just a few however the dollar, the yen, the pound, and the euro so I'm going to select the dollar symbol and then it asks me does, do I want the symbol before or after what do I want my negative sign to look like I'll just leave it as a minus and should the negative sign be displayed before or after and before or at the amount and before or after the currency symbol what's important to note is the currency symbol itself how the separators work, are there decimal places, and what the terminology should be on the check, dollars and cents. So I'll click on save, and now let's enter one for euro. Now in this particular case, I'll select the euro symbol, and I'll leave it the same uh, with a comma and two, and in this time I'm going to change it to euro and cents, and then click save. And that's the core of setting up the currency module. Hope this helps.